Well, the Envoy Institute really is a dream come true in the sense that for years and years now, I've thought about how great it would be to be able to train serious Catholics who really want to know how to explain and share and defend the faith. These young people are going to be hit with all kinds of challenges to their Catholic faith. A place where Catholics could come together and learn their faith, where we can have speakers to talk about scripture and about apologetics and learn the roots of their faith. And now we have it, and it's such a great thing. This is answered prayer. The Envoy Institute is answering the Holy Father's call for new evangelization, for catechesis, for transformation of young people, of uh, not so young people. It is cutting edge, it's innovative, it's creative. It really is responding to a tremendous need in our church today. I would say that it's a welcoming place where people are ready to share their faith and explain why it's important and why Catholics believe what we believe and why it's okay to believe that. To train you, to prepare you to do what St. Paul tells us, in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 12, Envoy Institute exists to equip the saints for the work of the ministry and the building up of the kingdom of God. And that's what is so exciting about being part of this institute. You've got to get your older kids out here. The speakers are going to be amazing, and the information that's going to be passed along are going to be things that they can really take with them, especially as they start to enter the college campuses. There actually are, there is a lot being done, but you're not hearing about it because um, the powers that be want us to go away, and the powers that be still control everything that we that we see, that we watch, um, that we read is controlled by about less than a dozen companies. I think the youth today are bombarded a lot with all these sort of intellectual reasons that aren't very well grounded, and I think it's prepared me to answer those questions in a simple way that they can understand. And this is just the inception. We, we hope to, uh, I guess it, the right word would be to evangelize to the young. You get students to think by asking them questions the way old Socrates did. You don't get students to think by giving them answers to questions that they never asked. You play Socrates. You know where you're going, but you lead them down the primrose path so they think for themselves. Spiritual warfare. And we are living in the midst of that battleground today, a battleground for souls to talk about these things that are, are pew issues, that are everyday cultural issues, television issues, family issues. And I feel like events like this will help the next generation of Catholics to, uh, to answer questions about their faith, to give the reasons for the hope that is in them, uh, to live their faith zealously, and to share it courageously. I think the speakers probably learned as much, not just from each other, but from the, the, their audience. As, uh, in ways that they maybe not even expected. So to just hear some of these stories live, uh, it's, it's so much better than reading it in the book. Well, I have benefited greatly from the incredible and inspiring talks and lectures that have been given by some of the top theologians and scholars, apologists and evangelists on the Catholic scene today. Hopefully every year we can come and hear guys like Peter Kreeft, Patrick Madrid, and the list just goes on and on. It is a phenomenal lineup. And uh, Pat Madrid, Belmont Abbey College, these are really the pioneers in the field, the leaders in the field. And if you want the best, go to the best. In a lot of ways, it's like a retreat. It's a time to sit down, to refocus, to reorganize, to reflect, and then to take the things that you hear and go back into your life and apply them. When we don't understand how to defend our faith, and why we believe what we believe. We lose this treasure, this majesty that we have in the Catholic Church. Our life is bombarded with the TV and the iPods and the Blackberries, and I'm amazed that my Blackberry hasn't vibrated yet since I started talking, but, but to get away from that. We're beginning to arm ourselves um, against this very powerful, very subtle, uh, these forces that uh, dominate so many areas of our lives and um, really endanger the salvation of our souls. The church is trying to re-evangelize the culture in Western civilization. We've lost our roots, especially our moral roots. No civilization has ever survived without them, so we're trying to restore them. And I believe the whole world can become Catholic if we would just know our faith and teach our faith and talk our faith and live our faith. All the times that I've tried so hard to defend the faith that it's our obligation, it's our calling. It reminds me to do it also with great charity as well. Don't be afraid to, to evangelize. Um, that it's, it's, it's a duty that we've all been called to. 
and that we will be given the graces to go out and do that. Our mission is not to do anything other than to help Catholics become better, stronger Catholics, to help non-Catholics take a second look at the Catholic Church, and to help former Catholics who have drifted away come back to the Catholic Church. I guess so far I've really realized that we're all called to duty, no matter who we are, what we do, you know, in the smallest way you'll make a difference, you'll speak to someone, and if you touch one person's life, then you did your job.